Hello, this is Daniel from Samlens Couch. In this video, I'm looking at the CoolPi wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver, which promises wireless 4K video transmission from one device to a screen of your choice. And I will test it with several different devices. So let's see what this adapter is all about. What is the CoolPi wireless HDMI transmitter? Imagine your HDMI connection upgraded with a radio transmitter. Kinda like Wi-Fi works, just for video and audio signals. With this transmitter, you can get rid of your HDMI cord and place your device of choice far away from your screen. In situations where you want to stay portable or you want your device placed further away from your screen, this technology comes in handy. The hardware itself supports 4K at 30Hz, which is great if you are running it on a 4K screen or a PC monitor. Audio will be limited to stereo and no HDR support either, but that is probably done this way to save bandwidth and retain image quality. Here I am unboxing the CoolPi wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver, which was kindly provided to us by the manufacturer. The name on the box was at first confusing to me. The name Wireless HD on the box, as well as the 4K Full HD logo, made me believe this might be a Full HD resolution product. But the system is actually capable of transmitting full 4K resolution over the air, which is really cool. So we have a 3840 by 2160 pixel image at 30Hz supporting the HDMI 1.4 standard and HDCP version 1.2. In the box you get a receiver and a transmitter unit. The adapters are made out of metal, which makes them sturdy and also helps keeping the adapters cool. Both come with attachable antennas, which you can point in many directions. There is also a micro HDMI and a mini HDMI adapter in the box as well. You also get two HDMI extension cords, an HDMI dual female adapter and two USB-C cords, which you will need to power both the transmitter and the receiver. If you are like me, you might have your entertainment system corner already filled up with many devices. And maybe you want to put your Nintendo Switch somewhere handy, so that you can quickly grab it, like for example on a high board instead. With a wireless HDMI adapter, that is no problem. I wanted to test this and tried connecting the adapter to the Switch's dock. But the dock doesn't have enough room to house the adapter. This is where the supplied extender comes in handy. By using the extender, the adapter fits without a problem and I can even use the USB port of the dock itself to power the HDMI adapter. I am connecting the receiver unit on the back of my LG OLED TV. My TV also has a USB port right next to the HDMI ports, making it easy to power the receiver as well. If you should have a screen without a USB port, you will need to use a USB charger, like one you use for your cell phone. To connect the transmitter and the receiver, you need to press the pair button on each unit and after a short while, the adapters are connected automatically. I am starting Super Mario Bros. Wonder and I instantly notice how sharp the picture quality is. I see no difference in quality compared to a wired HDMI connection, which is positively surprising. I expected to see some kind of compression artifacts, 
but there are none. If you are planning to play games that requires fast reactions, like jump and run games, racing or shooting games, you need to know that the wireless transmission of the video signal does add lag. So when you jump with Mario for example, there is a slight delay from pushing the button to Mario actually jumping. Here I am comparing the jump button presses with a wireless adapter to jumping on a wired HDMI connection to showcase the lag. So for fast paced games, the wireless connection might be problematic. But for other games, like Animal Crossing, Jackbox or Just Dance, to name a few, the lag won't be much of a problem. My next test is using my desktop computer. My Mac Pro is always sitting under my desk and moving it around and connecting it to my TV with a long HDMI cord is a hassle. So I'm barely ever doing that. Let's try the wireless HDMI adapter. I'm plugging in the HDMI transmitter and connecting it to a USB port. For an easier access, I'm connecting the HDMI receiver to my OnQ RZ50 AV receiver, which has a front HDMI port. Since I don't have a USB port on the front, I am using a power bank to power the HDMI receiver, which works without a problem. After a little while, the adapters connect to each other and I can have a full 4K image on my TV screen. Again, the image quality impresses and even from close up, I can see any loss in quality. Videos and sound play without a problem and I can just have my keyboard and trackpad at the couch now using my computer. Next, I'm taking my M2 MacBook Air for the spin. Since my Air only has two USB ports, I'm using an USB-C to HDMI USB-A adapter. I can connect the wireless adapter straight to my USB-C adapter and it works like a charm. Now I can use my TV as a second monitor. I also tested walking around my apartment with my laptop in my hands and I could go around my entire place without the video skipping a beat, even through several walls. I could go as far as 33 feet, 10 meters, with two brick walls in between, and my laptop was still connected to my TV. The adapter has an indoor maximum range with no obstructions of 200 feet, which is 60 meters, and an outdoor maximum range without obstructions of 500 feet, which is 150 meters. And for the fun of it, I also tested my M1 iPad Pro, which has a USB-C port as well, and it works right away. Conclusion I was positively surprised about the performance of this product. It delivers what it promises, which is full 4K video and long-range transmission. Even having to go through several walls of my apartment, the signal had no problem reaching my screen. The image quality by itself is excellent and doesn't differ from a wired HDMI connection. Just keep in mind that fast-paced gaming, Dolby Atmos surround sound and HDR is not supported. You get a stable image and the freedom to have your HDMI device almost anywhere in your house, not being tied down by a cumbersome HDMI cord anymore. If you are interested in the CoolPi wireless HDMI extender, we also have a discount code for our viewers in the description of this video, along with a link to the store. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, 
I will see you next time on Sandben's Couch. Sandben's Couch. Welcome to Sandben.